What's up everybody, it's Jonathan from OT for Tech and today we're going to be taking a look at a screen protector from Mime. Now everybody has been on that search for the perfect screen protector for the iPhone 6 to 6 Plus and I think I finally have found it. This particular screen protector is called the Mime Ghost Glass Color and it retails for $27.95 and you can pick it up on their website. The link will be in the description below. It gets its name because of the unique design. Instead of being 100% transparent, you're going to notice the upper and lower parts as well as the thin bezel on the sides will be done in the color to match your iPhone, aka white or black. And it does this due to the fact that the ghost glass color, which by the way is the same thickness as the original ghost glass, goes edge to edge. Yes, that's right folks, another edge to edge screen protector for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Thank goodness. Installation is a breeze. If you've ever installed a tempered glass screen protector of any kind, you're going to feel right at home with this one. Just make sure your screen is clean and you take a couple extra seconds to line up the openings at the top. I'll cover this in just a moment, however you will see what I'm talking about in this clip. Once all that is taken care of, drop it in and watch it seal itself. Typically you're going to have a few bubbles at the end, it's not that big of a deal so don't stress. Most of them can be simply taken care of with using your finger and a microfiber towel. Smaller ones may require the use of a card, just make sure you take your time and get them all out. Once all that is done, remove the protective film and voila. Like I said in the beginning, the ghost glass color goes edge to edge, at least for the most part. There is a small area on the actual curve itself that the glass does not reach to, but honestly it's no different than the iLoom tempered glass screen protector for the 6 and 6 Plus. However, unlike the iLoom variant though, you will not see an area area going around the display that appeared like it was not adhered correctly. Not saying anything bad about it, just for comparison purposes. Also, the Mime Ghost Glass goes all the way around the home button, thus protecting the front of your phone a tiny bit better. Back to the openings that I mentioned during the installation process. They're not exactly cutouts per se. At the top you're going to find a cutout for your speaker of course, and you'll find two areas that are not coated in the white or black material. Instead, they're going to be more of a traditional transparent tempered glass, allowing for full functionality of the camera and dedicated sensor without any obstruction. With that being said, I have ran into no problems at all with the use of the ambient light and proximity sensor as well as the camera, but this is why it's imperative that you take your time to line up everything. Well, that and the fact that if you don't it just looks tacky. It's not the thinnest screen protector on the market, but I can assure you that you will not notice it too much on your device. Coming in at 0.3 millimeters thick, it's most certainly not the thickest on the market either. The only way you're going to be able to tell that it's on your phone is when you're using the touch ID or home button, but it's not significant. Plus, thanks to the implementation of the rounded edges, which are not only for anti-chipping properties but also allow for added comfort when using the home button, it really makes for a good experience. On to clarity, like the majority of most premium glass screen protectors, you're not going to find any issues here. Everything will appear as if there was no screen protector on your phone. Images are just as clear, crisp, and vibrant, and text is just as sharp as well. It does, however, add a nice glare to the phone, so if you're one of those people that really hate light glare on your device, you have been warned. But as for me, I love the glare. Makes my screen look wet like a car after a fresh coat of wax. Touch screen sensitivity is another key point to cover and as such you're not going to find any complaints from me. Everything is just as responsive as not having anything covering your display. Plus thanks to that 5 times oleophobic coating your finger will glide on this thing better than a fat man dipped in Crisco on a slip and slide. On top of that oleophobic coating they've also added another anti fingerprint coating which works well in the sense that they are easily wiped off. Granted I have noticed that fewer smudges and smears get on my display with the use of the screen protector so honestly it definitely does help. So in conclusion the Mime Ghost Glass Color is the best screen protector I have reviewed so far for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Coming in at less than $30, it's certainly affordable. But I'm sure there's going to be some complainers out there about the price, so let me include the fact that you do get Mime's Lifetime Warranty Replacement Program as well with this purchase. Plus, let me remind you that it goes edge to edge. Well, I really appreciate you guys watching this video, and hopefully you enjoyed it enough to hit that like button. If not, it's cool, I know where you live. Just kidding. Feel free to subscribe and follow me on all my social media connections below as well, and of course, I will talk to you guys in the next one.